The South African government recently said it would solicit bids worth 1.1 trillion rand for the construction of six nuclear energy plants. Joining me now in studio to take a look at investments in the energy space is Busi Mabuza, non-executive chairperson of the Central Energy Fund. Thank you so much, Busi, for joining us. Great to have you in studio. Thank you very studio. much. Thank you. With regards Pleasure. to the overall policy that we're seeing in South Africa right now, and we know yes. that it's actually occurred through the Integrated Resource Plan, yes. it seems that there are a lot of detractors saying that the policy is not clear and definitive enough. What is your view and do you think that we're starting to see a far more conducive environment for investment into the energy space? Look, I think there was such excitement when the integrated resource plan came through that uh, people lost patience with the government. But we have been getting increasing clarity in terms of the policy environment. And I think that's very exciting for investors who are looking to come and invest in the country. You are have, you have more clarity, you have an energy regulator who is hard at work in making sure that the investment environment is conducive for the investors who are looking to come into the country. Mm. Busi, would you say that foreign uh, investors at this point might uh, also have uh, be on high alert given the fact that nationalization debate is going on quite extensively, of course, within the mining sector? Does that create quite an alarmist view with regards to investing in the country? We also know that black economic empowerment is also a very important factor when embarking on investing in, in South Africa as a whole. I think the ANC government has had a good track record since 1994. We have seen more policy consistency rather than less. Uh, we know which way uh, the government is going way ahead uh, of um, time. And we have um, national treasury, which has kept the economy on such an even keel that I wouldn't be worried if I were an investor. Black economic empowerment is very necessary in the country in order to address the disparities that the country has had. And the localization is an important component as well of creating jobs in the country and make sure, making sure that the investors' investments are actually sustainable. Because if you don't have the stability, the social stability in the country, that's when you're going to have problems. So I wouldn't be worried if I were an investor looking at With regard to independent power producers in the space that we're seeing right now, yeah. would you say that the government is very open to a, an independent power producer coming in, a very strong competitor within the space? We know that energy is, of course, a very strategic element for any country. Do you think that we are ready for an IPP? The signals have, have been very strong. The fact that the first round of bids have been called in and uh, the interest that has been shown by the international, ma international market, I think has shown that um, government is serious and that the investors are recognizing the seri seriousness of government in that regard. So I wouldn't be surprised to see a number of players in the market going forward. Um, the minister has talked about an independent six systems market operator who is going to be the main buyer of the electricity from the IPPs so that you reduce the conflict that ESCOM has had um, in the past in terms of buying from the independent power producers. So I'm very excited for the energy market in the country. I mentioned up at the top the 1.1 trillion rand, of course, Correct. Uh, that's going to be invested within nuclear energy. We Correct. know that it was quite a big hot potato uh, a year or so ago. We know that we've done quite a bit of work with regards to the pebble uh, bed nuclear uh, reactor, which yes. of course now that has uh, been shoved in one at, at one end. Busi, are we ready for the nuclear space in South Africa and how are we going to uh, embark on this project given the fact that we have been so vehement about using coal, our strategic resource, quite extensively and this is why we embarked on coal-fired power plants and did not take nuclear very seriously? Well, you must remember that South Africa was um, way ahead of the curve in terms of our skills in nuclear technology and I think we've had the opportunity to also learn from the best both from their mistakes and, and from their successes. And the fact that uh, the government is being cautious and is inviting partners who are both going to invest and who are going to bring the technology to the country, I think bodes very well for the country. And I'm very positive because the government is looking way ahead. We're not just, the government is not just talking about investing for tomorrow. They are thinking 50 years ahead uh, of the curve because what's important for a sustainable economy is, um, is to make sure that there is sustainability and that there's security of energy down the line. Germany is, uh, of course, saying that it's going to close down its Correct. nuclear power plants. Correct. We're actually going against the grain here. Can we expect uh, a lot of foreign interest 
within that 1.1 trillion rand tender that we're putting out, given the fact that nuclear, again, we're still feeling the repercussions of what happened in Japan earlier this year. For the press was already quoting interest from the French, who have uh, long experience in nuclear, and uh, quoting interest from China. So it will be interesting to see what we get from that. Mm. Uh, let's also touch on co-generation within South Africa. Yes. It seems that a lot of uh, corporates are starting to find it economically viable to ensure that they do have their own supply of electricity. Is this going to be a growing trend? And is it only going to be mining companies that are going to be quite dominant in the space? Because thus far, that has been the trend. The mining companies have had a lot of interest because of uh, their energy hungry uh, activities. But the um, sugar companies as well, who have the natural resource in the baguettes that uh, comes out of their core production, have had an interest in core generation opportunities. So I think a number of the large consumers of energy are probably going to explore those opportunities as the electricity prices from ESCOM go up. Um, so that space is probably going to develop going forward. I'm glad you mentioned pricing. Looking at the pricing <laughs> structures that we're seeing right now and independent power producers being interested within the space, again, the price tag is quite important for the South African consumer as well. How do you see this being playing, playing out? Are we going to see aggressive talks occurring between the unions and industry players? And it's correct to have that because uh, the pricing has to be sustainable. Once you uh, exclude a certain percentage of the population from being able to afford electricity, then you are um, courting a problem there. So I think the pricing has to be cost effective and sustainable for the economy and for the consumer. I think you will see a lot of um, discussion, a lot of robust discussion, but towards a solution. Can we assume that more players are going to bring more competition and therefore bring the price down? That would be fantastic. And I think that's what government is working towards.